She is a Unite activist and a Unite union rep in her place of work as well. She's also a mum to three kids. She works as a graphic designer and then she works her backside off for Labour for Independence in what little spare time she has left. Uh, Debbie Figures. <laughs>
They are robbing the poor to feed the greedy and the Labour Party are letting them do it. Actually, they're taking one step worse and they're making sure whatever the Tories are going to do, they're going to do it even better. I'm disgusted. Uh, I don't really want to be working with them, which is good because I'm barred from a CLP anyway, so Douglas Alexander doesn't want me to be there. Uh, who's basically a Tory anyway. Uh, third reason, uh, I want rid of Trident. I want my children to grow up and as Trident say, the good, say, the good uh, message from them is I want my children to grow up and not blow up. Trident being very close to, in Scotland, people think, oh Glasgow, you think you're just up the road. No, if Trident goes and a terrorist attack, never mind anything else, it takes out the whole of Scotland. We are going. I know eventually the, the mass of England will be distributed with the poison, but we are gone. There is none of us left. The country is going. And I can't see that happening to my country, never mind my children or my family or anything else. Why the Labour Party would back Trident's replacement when it's so much money we could spend on the things that the Labour Party are meant to fight for? That's another reason I, I I just can't understand the whole position of the Labour Party being the fetish together and the Tories. The fourth reason is equality. I'm a union rep and a union activist and I spent quite a lot of my time, well I did until this campaign started, spent quite a lot of my time out in the communities working as a united activist and getting involved in what's happening within them and their workplaces. Obviously uh, gender equality and uh, gay rights are obviously quite a big one. People get bullied steadily within their workplace. But what happens in this country just now is people are being bullied by the government. They are picking on the people that are needing the help the most. They are picking on the disabled. They're picking on mums like me. They're picking on young youths looking to venture out into the world of work, they can't do anything, they can't basically go anywhere after they've been employed unless they move away from their country and I don't want that happening. They should be able to stay in this country and produce things, make things. This country should be generating again, not sitting desolate and being told that you're not good enough to do it because that's what the problem with Scotland is. We've always been told you're not good enough and we are good enough, we're well good enough to start this country back up and running again and get things up and running. My fifth reason, you'll be glad to know, Millie Dunn, eh, it's for my children, as I said at the beginning. I, at the very, very beginning of this campaign was a very soft yes. I was going with my heart more than anything. I hadn't read anything. My heart was saying, do it, do it. Uh, but I could have been persuaded to vote no if somebody had a good reason to do that. And I did ask some head honchos, I've already mentioned one of the names, about why we should stay within the United Kingdom. And Tell me a good reason. I want you to tell me something that will benefit me and my family. I want you to tell me something that will benefit my community. And I live in a small town called Johnson outside Paisley. So I would like to know that they're going to plough money in, they're going to make us get something happening. No, they had nothing to tell me. There is nothing positive to say actually other than the Labour Party is joining back together and that's what you're going to do. So I'm afraid I've always never been one to do what I've been told to do. So it was a no-brainer, as I said to me, that's what I've written down as well. Uh, future generations are going to reap the benefits of this, and I am so proud to be part of this movement, and so proud to be part of this generation that's getting the chance to do this. I've, I've been a lot, a lot of places with the union, obviously. Uh, we travel around our committees, we do different conferences and things, and I've came across what the rest of the UK has decided we should do. Uh, the Welsh didn't have much to say, they just said, well, that's good, you've got a, choice, a chance and a choice, that's excellent, we never got that. The Northern Irish were quite standoffish, didn't really want to talk about it. The English were surprisingly different. The Union people tend to come from Northern England areas, they're all very active within their Union out in the streets, and they told us to run, run while we still can, and if they could move the border that would be fab while we're at it. <laughs> So my message is that better together keep doing mentioning solidarity. This is not about losing our solidarity with our brothers and sisters down south. This is about gaining solidarity and making sure that we're able to fight for them because we are in a better position to fight. They, we don't have to be in the same position for them as to fight for what they need down there. And to be honest, the NHS in England is about to be destroyed. And I cannot see, I cannot, I will not see it happening up here. It, it is about to be in a year's time. You'll have
have to pay ten pounds to see a doctor in England. Now you imagine that if you already not got food on the table and one of your children falls ill and you're going to have to pay ten pounds to go and see a doctor to get something for that child and then have to pay for the prescription on top of that, it's not going to happen. And they're doing it because the Tory friends all own insurance companies and they all want their friends to make the money out of people getting private insurance. I refuse to see the NHS being destroyed and I refuse to see the welfare state being destroyed. So I would wish you all to please, if you've become a yes or are a yes, get out in the streets and make sure that everybody knows what is going on round about. Get active and get out talking to folk because that's the way you're going to change the situation. Thank you.